Hello and welcome back to my channel as we are watching the temperatures drop a little bit as we are seeing some color change in the leaves and we're kind of introducing some things into our meal rotation that we haven't seen for a little while it is very evident that the fall season is upon us and so one area that that means some change is in our wardrobes so come with me today. I am going to transition over my wardrobe of 33 pieces from summer to fall. Well, hey guys, it has been a minute since I made a video. So I have to be really transparent with you guys and let you know that it's been a little bit of a challenge because since we moved, we have not had internet. We are able to have internet on our phones, but uh, the area where we live, it is very, very difficult to get internet service. Even when you can get like a hotspot or something like that, it's very difficult to find something that has that strength to upload a video. So ever since we moved, any of those videos from May until now, and there have not been very many, I've had to go to our public library to upload them. As you can imagine, that's just a little bit of a challenge uh, in my schedule from week to week. So we have a new method of internet here at our little house and I am really hopeful that it is going to allow me to kind of share a little more often with you guys. So with that being said, if you guys watched my videos throughout the summer, you saw that I started a new capsule wardrobe system. It is called Project 333 and in a nutshell, you choose 33 pieces and you wear those for the next three month period. So we're in the beginning of October here. I was going to do a video just dedicated to how my summer wardrobe wound up and I'm not gonna be able to do that just because of the whole internet situation. But I will tell you, I ended up just doing one pair of earrings. Uh, on occasion, if we were going somewhere special, I'd pull out something else, but I pretty much wore the same pair of earrings the entire summer. Uh, I, let's, I was trying to think what other things I was debating in that video. Uh, I had a handful of tank tops or sleeveless shirts. I had some short sleeve kind of t-shirts. I had some blouses that were short sleeved. I had some pants. I had one skirt and then I had I think four dresses and then I included two layering pieces, a short sleeve kind of open knit sweater that was a it was an open cardigan and uh, it's just really nice and can transition and work in multiple seasons. And then I did an open thin denim shirt and I was able to use both of those layering when I needed to. I had four or five pairs of shoes, I think, and that was my wardrobe. I am still a little unsure about how this whole thing is going to work as we move into cooler weather. With fall in North Carolina, it's very much layers and so I definitely want to make sure I have short sleeve things like this top that I thrifted. So I definitely want to make sure that I have some short sleeve items, but then of course I'm also going to need long sleeves. I'm going to need open cardigans. I'm going to need sweaters, uh, jackets, pants, uh, you know, different shoe options that I had this summer. So I started out by doing what I did in the summer, which was kind of making a list of what I would like to have in my fall capsule wardrobe. I knew that I wanted a graphic tee. I think one is fine. I think this one will be my graphic tee. I want some sort of striped tee. I need like a solid tee. And then of course I'm going to want a few cardigan options, several sweaters, several just long sleeve tops. Uh, I have my pants already chosen. I think I am in the market for a new jacket, something that is more of a warm weather jacket. I saw one at a wedding I went to recently and I fell in love with it. She said she got it from Zara. I went and looked on Zara's website. First of all, the models on Zara, I just, if you've never been, you just need to go to the website. It's just, uh, it's just an experience. And then the next thing that I will say is I've never seen a retailer have so many coats. I looked through, I don't know how many pages of coats and I never found that exact one. I'll try to insert a picture here of what I'm looking for. I'm looking for something similar. It wasn't quite a beige. It was like a, I don't know, like an, like an oatmeal with a touch of like grayish to it. It was not a gray, but it was not just a beige. It was kind of a mix between the two and it was lovely. 
Um, so I think that's one thing I would like to add that I don't currently have. I also potentially might want to add like a taller boot, um, like sort of a riding boot. That's a maybe, but those are two things I know right off the top I don't have that I would maybe like to add. In addition to that, I might like to add one or two dresses that are definitely more like fall weather dresses. So those are my thoughts going into it. So I've removed all of the boxes from the top of my closet and I laid them out and what I'm actually going to do and what I'll encourage you to do if you have the itch to go shopping for new fall clothes, lay your things out and go shopping. So let me just show you behind me, I'll show you Kelly's store and um, we're going to go shopping. Basically the idea is if I would not buy it from this store then it's not going in the closet. And it doesn't matter if I've had it a long time or if I used to love it. Um, maybe it's gotten worn because I've washed it because I wore it so much. So maybe I need to transition to something else. Maybe I have like five different versions of the same thing, like white crew neck sweaters and beige cardigans. So these are some areas I need to look at. So let's go shopping. All right, so right off the top, I'm gonna to go ahead and tell you this little stack here, these are December items. So what I'm just gonna do is pull these in once we get to cooler weather. This is a shirt that a lot of times I wear in December. It's technically, I'm pretty sure, a pajama shirt, but I thrifted it and it is so soft and I wear it at Christmas time and I get compliments on it every time I wear it. Whatever, I really like it. These are insulated jeans. They honestly are like, I kind of have to squeeze into them, but they fit, uh, just barely, but they fit. Oh man, I thought that was money. Ugh. Don't you love that feeling when you find like a $20 bill? That wasn't a $20 bill. That was just the lining of my pants. Oh well. All right, so gonna keep those in the like December pile. And then if you guys were along with me for December videos last year, you will remember this sweater. This was my single favorite thing that I wore last year in December. It just, how can you wear a sweater like that and be in a bad mood, you know? Like, <laughs> it has bows and sequins on it and roses on the Christmas trees. I mean, come on. So those will go in December. I will also tell you right off the top, this is my pile of, I think I'm over these. And I'm not positive. I'm gonna go through and do a huge try on here in a minute. But this is just my pile of like, when I pulled them out of the box, I thought, mm, you know, maybe, maybe they've run their course. I'm not sure. This one, the sole reason why I'm kind of like, maybe I'll keep it is because Andy got a lovely box of hand-me-downs from a friend with a shirt just like this. And I love a good twinning moment with Andy. So I don't know, I might keep that. This stack is cardigans, all different types, all different colors of cardigans and kind of like open uh, sweaters. These are shirts, long sleeve shirts. Some of them are more blousy, some of them are more t-shirt. This one is actually like a button up, but it's thin. So I kept it in this category, whereas this category is solely like button downs that could be worn open with something under them or just worn by themselves. This is something I thrifted, uh, you might remember from a haul in June. It's like more of like a, like a shacket, shirt jacket kind of thing. And then there's a denim shirt. I really like this one. I do think I need to repair a button on the sleeve, so that needs to be looked at. And then that is, I don't know if you can tell on camera, but that's a navy and white them button up. So there's button ups. Here's some pants. I did not include these or plan to include these because I forgot that I had them so I'm gonna have to try them on again. They are a, a skinny light wash. This is a stack of just a few dresses. This one was in my summer capsule. It is a, uh, a denim dress. It is a little above the knee. Um, 
This, I'm just not sure if it's going to fit me like I want it to. I wore this for family pictures uh, two years ago, and it, it worked out fine for the pictures, but I never wore it a lot otherwise. And then this is a jumpsuit that my sister gave me. I need to try that on and see if I like the way it looks. Then we make our way over here. Here are two vests. This is a green quilted one, and then this is a like a Carhartt Sherpa lined uh, brown one. And then this pile are the sweaters. So if you're noticing, there are many more than 33 items here. You're correct. So this was my little like initial, just these are the things I know I want to include. I decided I'm not going to keep jewelry included because I keep my jewelry right over here on our dresser in this little um, ring holder uh, bowl. And so it really doesn't matter to me if there are two pairs of earrings in here or four pairs of earrings or six because they're all very contained. So I decided for me personally, it just doesn't make sense to include jewelry in my numbers because it's only going to be a few things anyway. And where they're stored, it, it's like same difference. It doesn't matter. This is the area though. Do you see this top number? That is representative of everything that is on this bed minus the December pile and the I think it's gonna go pile all right as I am embarking on this journey for the fall I've never done this for the fall it feels a little intimidating but the things that I'm reminding myself are I really enjoyed doing this in the summer I did not feel restricted I didn't feel like I'm having to repeat things over and over again or people are gonna notice that I'm only wearing the same clothes over and over again I, I don't know that anybody noticed, and if they did, they didn't say anything, and honestly, if they'd said anything, I don't think it would have bothered me. So I'm going to keep in mind how much I enjoyed the experience this summer. I'm also going to keep in mind that this is a no guilt process, so if I try something on and I used to love it, but I don't now, or I used to like the way that it fit me, but it doesn't fit me the same now, you know, whatever the case may be, it's okay. It's just an article of clothing. And again, I've said this before, but that's one of the great things about buying clothing secondhand. I don't have to have this guilt of, I spent so much on this article of clothing. There are very few things on this bed that cost over $3, to be honest. Um, there might be a couple pairs of jeans that were from Plato's Closet that were in the like $10 to $20 range, maybe. Um, most everything else was bought at my local thrift store and tops there are, I think, $3 a piece. So I'm, I'm really free of any guilt of, I shouldn't do this, I shouldn't donate this, I have the obligation to wear all these things. I don't. This is my wardrobe and I get to choose. So I'm going to try on and let's see how this goes. should be like maybe it should be dark denim if it's fall I don't know but like if I paired it with black pants and mules I think it could still look fallish it's a little chaotic at the other end of the house hmm. I think I might keep this shirt in here so I can layer it and stuff all right let's try on the other layering pieces This is a maybe. That was the one that I had in my summer wardrobe, by the way. All right, this is the one that I said was very experimental that I yard sailed in June. I think I need to see it ironed. Obviously, it's wrinkled coming out of the box. Um, it's got some structure to it, so it's a little more um, 
like blazer-ish, but not as, as structured as a blazer. So, it'll also go in the maybe. This is kind of my go-to fall denim layering one. Is this Gap? Um, yeah, this is Gap. I think I'm going to repair the button here and go ahead and say that this one is definite. Another one of the things that I'm going to do to test these button-ups is see if I can wear them both open and closed, you know, as a layering piece, but also as their own entity. Um, that would make them more versatile and give me more reason to keep them in my closet versus not. I don't know if I love this layered. It's fine. Um, I think I want to try it by itself. And this is the whole reason why I'm doing this. I actually like this better like this and not open. I think I, I could wear it open, but I like it better like this. And last year I actually even layered a, sh a sweater over this. Um, I think I'm gonna, thank you. So I think I am gonna keep this, but not to wear over things. What? Alright, so I have gone through the button ups, button downs. Do you call them button up or button down? I don't know what I call them. I think I call them both. Uh, so I've just gone through them. I definitely put the dark denim in there. I definitely put the uh, gingham in there. And then the other two are going in the maybe pile. Uh, they weren't like a definite no, but I thought, let me see what other things I come across here. Um, I think I'm going to tackle the cardigans now. Oh, I kind of dread it, but let's just do it. save this one for spring this was the one that was in my summer capsule I really just love how like drapey and cozy it is it's uh, it doesn't really add that much of an extra layer as far as warmth goes so I'm thinking maybe I should just put it back for spring I really do love how it fits I love the big arms do you see why this is hard <laughs> oh, this is hard ready to let this one go. We've had it for a long while. Um, I don't know, it's fine. I will say when I looked up my colors, like what I, I think I am, I think I'm a light spring, I think is what it's called. Anyway, it steered me more towards creams than actual like white white. And I've started paying attention to that and I, I think that I do agree with that, you know, sort of. Um, so I don't know, it's just something to think about. But I, I feel like this is just kind of eh. I've had this one for years. 
I want to love it and there's something about it that I just don't and in seasons past and in falls and winters past I reach for other ones instead of this one so I think I'm gonna pass this one on this one is gonna go in the maybe pile the drape of the fabric is better on me uh, however, it says 100% acrylic, which I don't, I don't actually know what that means, um, but it feels, maybe itchy is the wrong word, it's not itchy, but it's just a little, like, it's not super, super soft, um, but it's also not awful. So I'm going to put it in the maybe category. I like the way that it lays better than the other one. This one is different because it is longer and more drapey. I would need to wear skinny jeans with it. Um, I kind of think I'm over this one. I know I had this one before I had kids. I've had this one quite a while. Um, it's very thin. It's not a, it's not a thick material and it's, it's very comfortable, um, but more of a tunic than like a sweater. Um, so I don't know. I think I'm done with this one. I'm not very good at this. All right, so I styled this as I normally would with skinny jeans and Chelsea boots. And I don't feel any pull to it. And I think if I were trying this on in the store, as much as I like certain aspects of it, I don't think I'd buy it. So I'm gonna let it go. Same outfit, but I went back and tried on this sweater instead of the other one and I instantly felt better and different and like more current. I don't know how to explain it. I just, I'm going with this one instead of that one. I like the color of this one and I like how it fits. Uh, this one's a keeper. I like this one. I do. Uh, it has some slight staining on the back. It's very, very subtle, but it's probably been like that ever since I got it. I don't know. I noticed it early on and then I would just forget about it because it's on the back. I don't even know if, if you can see it. I'm thinking I'm going to let this one go maybe. All right. If my video looks different, it's because I had to switch to my phone. Uh, so I've been working for... I don't know, nearly two hours, and it's become very evident that this is going to be a two-part video. Uh, so, I just thought I would kind of catch you up to speed as to where we are. So, you can see behind me there are clothes and there are shoes, and this is how we're shaking out with the numbers. Now, this is including the pile that I was like, I was pretty sure I was no on, um, that I kind of set to the side there. This is including those. I tried on all cardigans, pants, dresses sweaters, vests, uh, and then, so the, these items are also including the shoes. Okay. So I have 12 items in the no pile. I have 25 of my 333 items. So my 33 items picked out. And then I have 20 over here in this maybe pile. So the next step here is to go through my maybes and figure out which of them are definite. Um, you can only do so much of this at a time before you start questioning your judgment and, and you know, I just need to step away. But I'm very, very happy. There's nothing in here that I was maybe about. All of these were like green light as soon as I put them on. So I'm gonna take a break. Probably we'll try these on for Brandon and get like a second opinion. Uh, that helps me to have like a little bit of outside feedback from somebody that I trust. My hair has definitely gotten disheveled in the process. I tried every single thing on. Um, so, but I, I think that there's a lot of value in that because I know exactly what's in here and why it's in here. And then I know how I want to style it. So I'm sure I will be talking more about that in future videos, but thank you guys so much for watching and I will be talking to you soon.